amen. Everybody has did an amazing job. Or the old saints would say a bumper job. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. That praise team is going to another level. Amen. Amen. That amen. last song was amazing. Amen. Just to amen. touch him. Yes. Amen. I want to see if you're real. Yes. yes. Amen. The word today, brothers and sisters, is coming out of the God. I mean, the, I'm say the gospel, even though it is the a continuance gospel. of the gospel. Amen. Yes. Amen. But the book of Acts, uh -huh. yes, amen. Like chapter you. 16, verse you, 9, Jesus. amen. And to all our visitors, amen, we welcome you, amen, with the love of the Lord, amen, yes. amen. that you came and worship with us. Your presence, amen, has added to this yes. atmosphere, amen. Yes. amen. Your smile has warmed our heart. Thank you for worshiping with us, amen. amen. The book of Acts, chapter 16. Verses 9. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And it says, during the night, during the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. Mm. Amen. You know, this this is Father's Day month. Amen. Yes, so we're going to be talking to the body at large, but definitely to our brothers. Amen. 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 Paul seen in a vision. Amen. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Paul seen something not with his physical eye, but with his spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He seen a vision. Mm -hmm. And in this vision was a man saying, Come over to my city. Mm -hmm. My God. Help us. Help us. <laughs> With this passage read, brothers and sisters, the Lord has given me the subject to teach and preach from help. 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 That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about help this morning. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Anybody here need some help? Help me. Help. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody can say, help. 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 Father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you now, Master. From the rising of today's sun to the going down of it, Lord, your name is worthy to be praised, yes. Father God. Yes. We thank you for being in our midst, thank Father you. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can Hallelujah. feel your liberty. I can yeah. feel your freedom. Yes, yes oh God. Because who the sun sets free oh, is free. free indeed. Indeed. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord God. That you would choose, mm -hmm. Father God, to be in our company. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As mighty as you are, as holy <laughs> as you are, yes, Father yes, God. Lord. You would choose to come down and sup with us, Father mm -hmm. God. We bless you. Mm -hmm. But you even took it a Thank step you. further. You didn't come down and just sup. Yes. You came into us, Master, yes, Lord. through the Holy Ghost. And we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. And we praise you. I pray that the yes, Holy Spirit will take control of this word. Yes, and it will be the needs of your people, Master. Yes, yes, Feed the flock by which you have died for yes, Master. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do the thing in our midst that we can't explain. But we know has happened, yes, Father sir. God. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it all for your name's sake. Do it for your name, God. As you're drawing closer, Father God. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. About to take us in, Master. Yes. Save. Yes. Save. Yes. Save us by your power. Save us yes. by your power. The glory, the honor, yes, and all Lord, the praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus', in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Hallelujah. And we say together. Amen. 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 As you take your seats, shout, Help! Help! You may take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Oh, help. Help us. Help, us help, 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 help. Help. Uh, I want to let you know, first off, brothers and sisters, that word help is a powerful word. Yes, it is. The word help is a powerful word. What makes that word help so powerful, my brothers and sisters, because for a, the, that word help puts you in a position of humility. Yes. Right. Are y'all with me? Give me your attention. That word help.
puts you in a position of humility. Uh -huh. Pride, prideful people can't ask for help. Come on. Right. Arrogant people can't ask for help. That's good. To ask for help, amen, you first have to humble yourself. Humble. Right. And, and, and what makes that so pride, proud, I mean, powerful, brothers and sisters, is that the Bible says God rejects the pride. Yeah. 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 God wants nothing to do with prideful people. At all. Huh. But he accepts the humble. Yes, good. In other words, to come to God, you first have to humble yourself. You can't go before the throne of God with pride, arrogance, titles, financial status, or what you have possessed by your own hands. But you got to realize to come before a great king, you have to make yourself as nothing. To come before Jesus, you got to recognize you don't deserve to come before Jesus. You're not good enough to come before Jesus. You're not holy enough to come before Jesus. And because Jesus lets you come, you come humbly. Yes, right. You come reverent. Right. The Bible says those that will exalt themselves will be torn down. And those that will humble themselves will be exalted. Humble people get miracles. Are uh, you listening to me? I want to tell somebody the first step to your miracle is that you got to humble yourself. Good God Almighty. The first step to your miracle is that you got to admit that you need help. Those that are well, the Bible says, don't need a physician. So you shouldn't come into the house of God trying to put on a persona that you got it all together, that you ain't never seen it, that you are perfect. No, 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 no. We came in here because we need help. We've been fighting devils all Sunday. The enemy's trying to take our mind. The enemy's trying to take our children. The enemy's trying to take our character. And since I made it, I might not put up with you. I need help. I didn't come here for no show. We didn't come here to show off our outfits. We didn't come here to be important. You don't go to the hospital trying to act like you got it together. You might as well stay home. But you go to the hospital because you're sick and you came searching for a physician. Is there any? I feel proud. Is there anybody here this morning? I'm dressed up. But I need help. I got cologne on, but I need help. My shoes are good, but I need help. Don't let this outward attire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't work. Don't work that way. That don't work. Uh -huh. 
Right. They, they want miracles with no prayer. Right. 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 But, but you've never seen somebody that got a miracle in the body, in the Bible, that did somehow put in some work. Right. 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 We, we, we talked about if we could just touch. Well, 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 look at, well, look at what that woman did. Amen. They had the issue of blood. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Look how hard she had to press through the crowd. See that, see that part, amen. But blind Bartimaeus was blind and he wanted to be healed. Now, did you notice how loud he yelled? Yes. Yes. Work. Mm-hmm. You can't get a miracle sitting at house. Right. You're not desperate enough. Yeah. 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 Desperate people oh, yeah. get miracles. You gotta be desperate enough to step over everybody. Excuse me, I know I don't belong here, I know I don't fit in, but I came to get a miracle. <laughs> don't I? Are y'all going to turn your mouth about me? If you won't, I came to get a miracle. And I'm desperate enough to step right over you. They got to change. It's desperate for it. Yes. You're not going to get a change in your life being passive. No. <laughs> you got to be desperate for your breakthrough. Help! 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 There's two categories that people need help in. One, when they don't have enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't have enough, you need some help. That's good, man. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. And two, if you have more than enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. People that have more than enough, guess what they do? They need some help. Yeah, that's right. You can't big in bring in a big blessing, lack of help. Mm-hmm. God bless Peter to the point. And it says his net started to break. Yeah. And he called for the other man with the boat and says, come help me. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You know a person is blessed for how they build a team around them. Whoa. That's good. That's good. For trying to hire somebody in because they're blessed. Yes. Yeah. Say it. Say it. Say it. Mm-hmm. And everybody in here, listen to me, is in both of those categories. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Your life, if you look at your life, your life is in both of those categories. There's somewhere in your life you don't have enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. If there's a place in my life I don't have enough. Mm-hmm. And I recognize I don't have enough. Uh-huh. That doesn't make me less than a man. No. It's just telling the truth. Right. I don't have enough. Mm-hmm. But then there's areas in my life. I got more than enough. Uh, some of you, you may not have enough money, but you sure got a lot of joy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But well, our lives are in always both places. Uh-huh. Don't, don't, don't just focus on what you don't have. Uh-huh. You got to focus on also what you do have. Yes. Because if you can get help what you do have, it will increase what you don't have. That's good, that's good. That's good. See, that's good. see, if you only focus on what you don't have, you won't have. Ooh. If you only focus on what you don't have and ignore what you do have, you will never have. So you gotta focus on what I do have. Are y'all listening to me? So I can increase what I don't have. I, I'm, I'm gonna just say, uh, 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 Perry, that this is how we came up with hot water cornbread. Because we didn't have no milk. So we put water in it and fried it. Because I got to use what I got. And when you use what you got, amen, it will eclipse what you don't have. And you'll stumble up on a delicacy. That's good. I just In our text, let's get to this text. In our text, Paul is on a mission. The man that tore down the church 
killing Christians, persecuting them. See, there was one point in Paul's life, he would come in a setting like this, and he would try to put us in prison and kill us. That's right. yeah. Yeah. But now this same man God has converted, and now he's on a mission building up what he used to tear down. You should be on a mission trying to build up what you used to tear down. Listen to me, life is about mission. Life is not about arriving or being stationary at a place. Are right, y'all listening to me? Because everybody that's born is passing through this world and they will die one day. Are right, y'all listening to me? So life is not about staying here or arriving at a certain place. Life is about moving. Life is about moving. It's about mission. The first thing we learned about God is that he moved on the face of the water. Uh -huh. Are y'all with me? It, it, it's not about staying. You keep saying, when I get here, I'm yes. going to do that. Listen to me. You're never going to get never there. Get there. Because there doesn't exist. Right. Oh. Life is about moving, but it's about making an impact with your movement. That's good. Are y'all listening to me? Life is about making an impact with your movement. Yes, so every move I make, amen, is calculated to make an impact. We don't do stuff just for the sake of doing stuff. We do stuff with strategic thoughts to make a impact. God told we do the pool party not to just to go swimming. We do the pool party to teach this generation that you can have fun and be sober. Y'all listen to me. and teaching that, that the churches were established yeah. in faith and they increased daily in number. Mm -hmm. Paul was on the move of building the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know you hear a lot of negativity about the church, Watch but I want to let you know Jesus came to build the church. Yes. Oh, yeah. give him scripture. Upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus is about building the people. Not the building. The church is not the people. The church is the ecclesia. Those that have been called out of darkness. Yes. Brought into God's light. Amen. God's children. Those that have been baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh -huh. He's trying to build us. Yes, he is. Yes. 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 Anybody who can feel God making you stronger. Yes. He's building my life. Yes. 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 And so, when you make your life about building the church, you're helping Jesus. That's mm. good. Uh, I like it. And when you help Jesus, you lack nothing. That's right. I'm listening to you. That's right. Since we've been building his church, I've lacked nothing. Nothing. Are y'all listening? Because I made my life about help. That's it. People that help people lack nothing. Yeah. Say it again. People that are always trying to get from people will always lack. If you're always about what 
gonna get, what you gonna get, what you gonna get, how I'm gonna get, how I'm gonna get it. You're gonna stay on that side of the table. And if you stay on that side of the table, you will never have an increase in prosperity. Because what divides a poor man from a rich man is the side of the table. So I get it done, man. You gotta get on the right side of the table. Because this side of the table, you're here to supply the demand. Oh, this could be a business class. You're here to supply the demand so your thought process is different. I'm not thinking what I can get from you. I'm thinking how I can make you my customer and help you. Because great businesses solve problems. Oh my God. You got to be a problem solver. You got to be, how can I help my sister? How can I help my brother? Sales don't have a big mission. That's good. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that's big enough. So, so he's talking to his brother. Said, "Let's get ready to go." Mm -hmm. And Barnabas wants to take his cousin John Mark. <coughs> Let me take my cousin with me. <laughs> Paul says, "No." Yes, he did, Chief. Yes, he did. I don't want him to come. Right. Right. I want him to come. Mm. And they got into an argument. Yeah, they did. Uh -huh. The, the, the apostles, yes. <laughs> the preachers, yes. read the Bible. Right. They got into the Bible. The Bible says a strict argument. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, they, they, was, they almost was to blows yes. about John Mark. Mm -hmm. And the reason they almost got into a fight about taking John Mark yes. on this trip, because Paul said at one point, John Mark deserted us. Yes. 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 Uh, on, on the first yeah. trip, the Bible says it this way. He left us and did not come to the work. Right. 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 That's what it right. Is, is that what it said? It, it says he left us and he did not come to the work. Yes, sir. And I was thinking to myself, how many people show up for the party? Yeah. And when the party is over, before we can put up the chairs, they leave. 
they're there for the show, but they're not there for the work. Don't, don't be impressed with people in your life that only come for the show. Only come when you got something. Only come when you're throwing something. But you need people in your life that'll help you work. That, 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 that's why you wake up feeling drained. That's why you wake up feeling depleted. That's why you wake up feeling frustrated because the majority of the people around you are there for the showy stuff when it's time to get in the trenches. They know they're not there to be found. No, he can't. Hey, no, he can't. He can't. Hey, no. Uh, Amen. Right, no check. Paul says no. No. <laughs> Leave him at home. Oh, yes, Lord. If he could just drop me, yeah. That means he wasn't there to help. That's right. Oh. Come on. He was there to get. Oh, oh my God. God. That's good. If somebody just dropped you. Wow. Let them go. 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 Oh, because they're not in your life Ooh. to help build. They're in your life to get. And when they don't feel like you're getting, giving what they want, they're going to go to the next person. But you need people in your life that's going to help you build. Before you give your body, ask them, you're going to help me build. Wow. If you're going to help me build, sign on this contract. That's right. Because before we go into contract and building development, we got to start signing stuff. Ooh. Because we ain't going to build Rome overnight. That's right. That's right. It's going to take some time to get where we're trying to go. Amen. So I want to know you're here, amen, for the long run. Yeah. So before I die, ah, yeah. I'm afraid of people that don't do contracts right. because the God does a contract. It's called the Bible. That's right. They call it a covenant. covenant. Right. Understand that God is in your life for the long run. That's good. Yeah. Amen. Ah, That's good. And so he says, I'm not taking him. You can take him and do what you're going to do. Give me silence. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, if you read the rest of the New Testament, you never hear about Barnabas and Mark again. At all. <laughs> because God ain't even concerned with people that don't help. Right. 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 Let's say that. Whoa. Listen. Are y'all you? You never hear about them again until one day Paul says, before he dies, Go get John Mark. Yes, <laughs> yes, oh, I wish I had yeah. time. Listen to me. Hallelujah. What makes you a great person in life yeah. is that you give to life. Mm -hmm. That you give to life to keep life going. Yeah. Y'all listening to me. Everybody that got holidays, everyone that we notice as being something, a part of our society, were people that gave to society. Mm. Yeah. Whether it was their talent, whether it was for a fight, for a cause, but they gave everything to keep something going. Yeah. We acknowledge people like that. Amen. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me, brothers yeah. and sisters? Paul and Silas is on their second journey. They're now going to, a, to build upon what has already been established. Mm -hmm. So before they can first build the people up, they first have to establish the people in the faith. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? You can't go up until you have a solid foundation. Yeah. Yeah. See, 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 as long as you're still thinking when you serve Jesus, he can't bless you. As long as when you get into a tough moment and you say, I'm not going to go back to selling dope. I'm not going to go back to doing this. He can't bless you. Yeah. Are, are you listening to me, brothers? Yeah. Because you're not anchored first in your faith. Amen. So first, before he builds you up, he needs to first Anchor you in your faith to the point that you start to say, Come hell or high water, I ain't going. Though you know, he slay me, yet will I trust him. Amen. I'm not going to find a quick fix. Amen. But I came to the point 
that nobody can help me if it ain't Jesus. Are y'all listening to me? And once you get that, amen, in your heart, then God can build on that because your faith is anchored in him. So he'll see you through a whole lot of stuff. Come on. Yes, he will. Because he's trying to anchor you. Yes, he will. Remember you didn't have enough, didn't I pray, didn't you pray, didn't I help you? Yeah. Why you still don't believe? Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> so, so he'll send you through different situations of lack to show you I am your provider and I got you so I can anchor you. That's what the wilderness was all about. Yeah. That was I got a promised land for you, but I can't bring you into the promised land till you understand that it's not the land that's blessing you. Ah. It's me touching the land. Oh, God. It's not the job that's blessing you. It's me providing for the job to bless you. Oh, are you listening to me? Amen. So at first, I got you to get to understand that. So you'll stop looking for people and you'll stop looking for things. And all you do is look to me and you'll seek me first, the kingdom of God and this righteousness. And all of a sudden, ah, oh, see, you keep seeking people and falling short. But if you seek God, God will send the people that you need. So he sends you through a wilderness period uh -huh. mm -hmm. to let you know, I got you. Are y'all with me, brothers and sisters? Yes, sir. Paul is taking his second tour. Uh -huh. I have not deserted you. I know I haven't been here in a minute, but I'm still with you. And now he's about to build on what's already been established. You know, anything about building, you have to first lay a solid foundation. Amen. Uh -huh. And so he's building. He's taking a second turn. Now Paul is in the providence of Asia. Stay with me. He's in the providence of Asia. Uh-huh. Let's go over here. Let's, let's go and preach to some people over here that we preach. But everywhere he's going, the Holy Ghost is stopping. Mm -hmm. He tries to go to one city, the Holy Ghost says, nope. Shuts the door. Mm -hmm. He tries to go to another city. The Holy Ghost says no. He shuts another door. Mm -hmm. Paul is being having doors shut in his face. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the ways God leads us is by the doors He shuts in our face. That's good. That's, right. That's good. Mm -hmm. You you think, Amen? The door shut in your face. Is God hating on you or punishing you? God uses closed doors to lead you to the open door. So, so he won't let him love you. He won't let him love you. He won't let him love you. So you won't make a, a lifetime commitment with somebody that's shenanigans. So when the door shuts in your face, Stop crying about it. Right, right. When the door shut says, thank you, Jesus, that wasn't the one. Thank you, Jesus, that ain't the one. Uh, see, you got to keep digging. And it takes faith to keep going. I told you this life is about movement. And what moves you forward is faith. So what you quit me? There's somebody in this world that's going to love me. I'm not going to waste years worrying about you. There is a promise with my name on it. There is a blessing with my name on it. And God will shut the door in your face so you won't settle for less. Lord, I thank you for every shut door in my life. Lord, I thank you for everybody that rejected me. Lord, I thank you for everybody that put me out. I didn't know them put me out was leading into my blessing. Good God Almighty. I didn't know, oh, I need some people that can thank God for the people that did leave you. I need some people that can thank God for the doors that was You don't have real faith in God. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. But for us, that God has shut doors and the next door open, I thank you. I know God loves me. 
I know he's there for me. I don't doubt that. I know his thoughts toward me are good and not evil. And they're going to bring me to an expected end. I don't doubt that. So when I'm hurt, I thank you for it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because I understand this ain't the one. Yes. Yes. See, when I was thinking about this shut door thing, mm -hmm. you know, some people can't receive help. Wow. See, see, before you plant, you got to get the ground right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The soil got to be right. Right. At least the soil can't receive the seed. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are y'all listening to me? And the worst thing you and I can do is force our seed into bad soil. See, the problem is you're trying to give to people, but they're not ready to receive. So you're frustrated. And you're angry. And you're upset because you're trying to force something that don't fit. See, I live by the model, if it don't fit, grab a hammer. Make it. But, but that's a bad model. Be, because if it's e, if it's a fit, it just slides. That's right. so good. Amen. Right. That's Jesus. That's good. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. See, God was directing him to the people that would receive the message. Oh, are y'all listening to me? Yeah. No, don't go over there. They're not going to receive it. <coughs> no, don't go over there. They're not going to receive it. Yeah. They're, they're not ready. Maybe they haven't been broken enough. Maybe. Oh, oh my. my. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Maybe I gotta break them some more to receive. Ooh. Think about when you became when, yeah. think about it. I'm gonna use my life of how many people preach to me mm -hmm. before I received it. Yeah. Oh mama and well, they all preach, but I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And then God broke me to the point Ooh. that I heard. Yes, God. Yeah. Yeah. Right, see, see, I, 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 see, see, when you're broken, listen to me. You listen on a different, yes, with a, oh, yeah. on, a, on a different level. Yes, I, 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 see, see, stuff hits different uh, when you're broken. Oh, yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You, you, you can really hear uh -huh. what the Spirit is trying to say. Yes, God. But when you're so haunty and prideful, oh, yeah. my. you can't even hear it. Amen. So he's going to break you some more to get your ear. Are y'all with me, brothers? Hallelujah. Stop trying to sow. I feel the Holy Spirit saying this. Into ground that's not ready. Ooh, that's good. Right. Yeah. That's so good. Stop trying to force it. I've learned this in life. Don't force yourself. Good connections should come naturally. Yeah. After all, good connections, it, it, would, it would be something in the spirit that you can just feel. Anybody know what I'm saying? See, I understand that when, when Mary walked in, why Elizabeth womb weeped. Yes. See, see, I try to connect with people to make my womb. That's good. Oh, they haven't yeah. even said nothing to me. But just by them walking in, something they did or something they said, yeah. they would say, oh, my life did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. You got to connect with people to make your wound. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're trying to connect with people, but I can't even find a next thought to say to you uh -huh. because there's nothing here. Yeah. I'm not going to even force a conversation. Yeah. See, see, I've got to the point, I don't force conversation. Yeah. Either it's going to be natural or not. Either we can just kick it like we've been, but you're going to cry when you cry. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> this ain't the one. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? You ever been around but it don't flow? Right, right. It ain't flowing. 
Don't force something that don't flow. I'm not going to force a flow. I will come into a... See, the word is flowing in here. It's just going. The Holy Ghost giving me concepts, thoughts. I ain't even in my notes. I can put down my notes because it's flowing. But, I, but I've even been into some churches to preach, and I didn't feel the flow. And I said, Lord, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to sit down and get up out of here because they don't want it. I'm not going to sweat up my jacket. I'm not going to sweat up my shirt. I'm not going to start preaching and hooping and hollering. They don't want it. They don't want it. I'm not doing all of that for something that you don't want. Are y'all listening to me? Then I can step in the atmosphere that has been expecting God to do something. That came hungry for a word. And it seemed like it just... Ah, it's a, ah, somebody in here must be hungry because I feel the Holy Ghost flowing out of me, out of my belly. Hey, yes. That's good. Life is about getting in the flow. That's right. Amen. Paul Hallelujah. says, the Holy Ghost says, don't go here. Don't go there. That's good. And then he just sits. Mm. Because the worst thing that you can do when you don't know what to do is start doing something. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm going to say that again. That's right. That's right. The worst thing worst you can do. Right. So you got to first I don't know what to do. Right. Good. Don't do nothing. Right. Don't start doing stuff when you don't know what to do. Because right. you're going to make something worse. Right. Are you listening to me? Yes. You're going to mess it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Have you ever had somebody working for you? <laughs> and you really didn't know, but you could tell that ain't what they said. That's what I be doing. <laughs> <laughs> and they just kept doing it. But you know, that's messing up. <laughs> I had that one time. I said, no, stop. And I stopped. <laughs> I can tell that ain't getting better. <laughs> Maybe you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. Hold on, hold on. When you don't know what to do, listen, this. When you don't really know what to say, just. And wait for the Holy Ghost to lead you. And what to do yeah. and what to say. Yes, Lord. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. So Paul just stops. Mm -hmm. And guess what? At night, at night, he gets a vision. Wow. He tried all he could do, it wasn't working. Holy Ghost said, Don't go this. That's why you have to have the Holy Spirit so you can be led by him. That's good. Yes. Yes. Now, those that are led by the Spirit of God yes. are the sons and daughters of God. Yes. 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 That's what the Bible says. Those that are led Lead us, by the Spirit of God. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Yes. Lean not yes. into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will start to direct. We're not going to rich because I want to go. We're going to rich because the Holy Ghost told me. And I know it's going to be successful, and I know it's going to prosper, and I know it's going to change life, and I know it's going to be a blessing. Why? Because he told me. But there's going to be some persecution. There's going to be some haters. Because all that happens when God is moving. That's yeah. right. Amen. That's yeah. right. He says, no. In a vision. Listen, in a vision. In a vision. God doesn't always talk to you <coughs> through... Physical instruments. Mm -hmm. But you have to have your spirit sensitive, sensitive, sensitive enough mm -hmm. so you can tap into the spirit realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lead your life just by physical facts. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because the word of God Amen. is a spiritual yes, thing. Yes, it is. And really to tap into the spirit. And right, let me say to tap into the word of God, you have to be spiritual. Yes, you do. Yes. Right, right. And God will show you things in the spirit realm right. that I call it the back office. Yeah. Because to every front office, like this, 
there's a back office to this that you don't see. Yes, you, right. there's, there's some conversations you guys don't even hear. But yet that's right. Have. That's, that's right. right. Amen. Are y'all listen? We've been talking since 8 this morning Amen. about this. Yes. Gotta make sure this right, this right, that, 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 boom, right, right. And so, and so you, you have to, brothers and sisters, good God Almighty, be sensitive, sensitive enough that you can get into the back office. But to get into the back office, you have to be quiet. Yes. Amen. You can't be seen. Amen. That's right. Because I can't stand people when I take them someplace. Amen. And they should just be quiet and they start talking. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nope. Uh, y'all I didn't take you to talk. I took you to listen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because you'll never get to where you're trying to get absent from listening. And so Paul is tapped into the spirit. And in the spirit, he sees a vision. Mm -hmm. I'm getting direction. And in this vision, there's a man. The Bible makes it very clear. There's a man. Mm. Saying help us. Mm. Listen to me. Ooh, I was Listen to me. When a man asks for help, mm. we're in trouble. Yeah. That's right. Are oh, you listening to me? Now, nothing against my sisters, eh, amen. I love my sisters. But listen to me. It takes a lot for a man. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we pride ourselves yes, in being yes. strong. We yeah. pride ourselves mm -hmm. in fixing stuff. We pride ourselves mm -hmm. of being a man. Boy, mm -hmm. suck it up. You can take it. You got it. Amen. So when a man says help, he's almost at the point of death. Ooh, wait. That's right. Are y'all listening to me? Uh -huh. When a man, man, when a man says I really need you to help me, listen to me. He's in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. I want to yes. talk to some brothers that's in trouble. Talk, Help me talk, 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 talk. I, I, I want to talk to some man that's at the point of death. Yeah. Least God, oh, oh. Least God help you or you die. I want to tell you that your father has not deserted you. Your father is dead with you. Your father is dead on your side. But he knows you're so tough and strong that he had to break you down from being a man to being a son. See, some of us were so much of a man that we're not a son. And Jesus wasn't known for being the man of God. Jesus was known for being the son of God. 